about, I read that when you uh, got into the London Academy, right? London Academy, Lambda. Lambda, yeah. sorry. That you were so concerned that you had done a bad audition <laughs> that you went home. Oh, did I read this incorrectly? Well, I don't know what you're going to say. What happened? Oh, that you went home and you were so devastated that you had done such a bad audition, but then a friend of yours came by and poked you up. You sound. <laughs> I did think I'd really, really, really done a disastrous audition. No, what happened was, it wasn't that I went home and someone poked me up. I ran out of the room and down the street, and there was a student there who was already a Lambda student who chased after me right. and consoled me. Uh, and, 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 and said, I'm sure you did an okay job. And I said, no, 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 it's terrible. And, I, and, I, and anyway, he was really nice to me. I never forgot him. And, I, and, I, and then I next saw him on the set of Cloud Atlas. Oh my gosh! I, oh, and right. And who was it? An actor called Alistair Petrie. He's the nicest man on earth. And it was so. In fact, we weren't even on the set. We were on a plane going to Germany to start shooting. And I sat. I was sitting next to him. And I, and, and I, I just spent the whole thing saying, you know, you really changed. I remember you so clearly as being one of, one of those pivotal moments in your life where someone did something so nice for no reason. Play a character called Thomas Schaefer. <laughs> and he is a, a professor of forensic psychology. When we meet him, he's introduced to us through Catherine Jensen, who's a, a homicide detective. And she has a case to solve, and she comes looking for me to help her solve her case. That's ostensibly why she's come looking for me. But actually, she's come looking for me because she needs to solve her life. Although that takes some time to kind of come out uh, in the pilot, you only sort of get hints at that. But it's what the show kind of turns into is uh, she's manipulating me. I'm studying her because she's really on the edge. Not that I'm not quite close to an edge as well, but you know, I, I, they're both pretty damaged human beings and somehow they kind of need each other. And did you do any research into forensic psychology prior to the role to get into uh, I read a really good book called Mind Hunters by a guy called John Douglas, who is the profiler who kind of, he literally wrote the book. Uh, and, and the book that he wrote, was the basis of Clarice Starling in Silence of the Lambs, and then every profile of it has ever been put on television or film afterwards because he wrote, I think, a, a couple of books, but, you know, he's, he was, he's the guy, and they are extraordinary, what they do. It's incredible. It's not, it almost seems impossible. Right. And did you watch the Danish show prior no, to... I didn't. Oh, gosh, isn't that interesting? No one knew... I would have thought that's the first thing everyone would have done, but no one has. Well, it didn't seem to be an upside to watching it. Right. If the show was great, I'd be terrified we'd do it worse. If the show was terrible, I'd wonder why I did the uh, ad version. Yeah. And if the guy playing my role was great, I'd want to kill myself because I'd never be able to do it as well as him. And if he's terrible, then I'd think, well, I don't know what I'm doing. So I didn't really see the positive of watching it. Truth is because